Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2, question number 62. It's kind of an easy question, I think. I think they're just trying to trick you with the whole um, negative 9, negative 22, flip the sign business here. So really we're just solving an inequality. So I need to do negative 4x plus 26 is greater than or equal to 62. I'm going to draw my line to separate the two sides of my equation. That way I know if I have to combine things on the same side, I do the operation that's given to me. And if I have to cross that line or get rid of something across the line, then I need to change the sign. So as is the case with 26. I'm trying to get x by itself. The plus 26 is a little bit further away than that negative 4, which is actually touching the x. So I'm going to get rid of my plus 26 by subtracting it. But in math, if we do something to one side of the equation, we must do it to the other side as well. So I do 62 minus 26, and I get 36. Now, if that negative 4 is touching that x, that means they're multiplying. So I need to divide to get rid of it. So I'm going to divide by negative 4 on both sides. For me, the big thing here is I'm going to circle the thing that I divided by. Because if I divide or multiply by a negative in the last step of an inequality, I need to flip it over. So what used to be a greater than question is now a less than or equal to question. Or used to be a greater than or equal to, I should say. Because this is negative, if you're adding or subtracting in the last step, you don't flip it over. It's only if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative in that last step. So 36 divided by negative 4 is negative 9. So I can feel pretty confident that the answer to number 62 is A. What they're going to try to get you with is the fact that they put the same answer, uh, except they give you the inequality remaining in the greater than position. So it's worth your time just to sit there and work it out a little bit, as opposed to just diving into the calculator. Because really, this is one that's easy to get. And it might mean the difference between basic versus proficient, proficient versus advanced. Or in some cases, it might be the difference between below basic and basic. So uh, I would suggest you take a little bit of extra time since it's untimed anyway. Um, good luck.